everyone, this is Kat from catfrenchdesign.com and uh, this tutorial is going to be playing with blending modes and texture to give you this nice antiqued feel um, to a photo. And so let's get started. We're going to close this down. And uh, what you need to do to get started is you need a photograph. I have this little baby here. And you need a, a texture photo. This is just a picture of a piece of paper that I found uh, on a stock website. And, um, or a stock photo site, and they have a lot of options there, um, so it's fun to play around with that. So once you have those two things, you can go ahead and follow me as we get going. Uh, create a new document, go to File, New. I'm going to make it an 8 by 10 so I could print it out and frame it if I wanted to. So make sure the width is 8 inches, make sure inches is selected. The height is 10 inches. And uh, because I'm printing it, this is very important, I need it to be 300 pixels per inch. This is going to give me some really good printing quality there. And also because I'm getting it printed, I'm sending it to a professional printer, I'm going to have it set to CMYK color mode. Once you have that, you go ahead and hit OK, and this new document pops right up. Here we go. Uh, we need to get that baby on here so we can get going, so let's go to that baby image and uh, select this move tool here on the left tools palette and you just go to the baby you click down with the mouse click and drag over to this new document and let go of the mouse and it's gonna think for a second and there it goes it popped right up so we have this baby here and using the same tool that I used to drag it over I'm just gonna move it to uh, where I want it to be right there and uh, let's uh, get rid of some of that brightness in those colors here. So with that layer selected right here, it's blue in your layers palette. Uh, if you don't have your layers palette, just go real quick to windows and make sure layers is selected. Uh, with that layer selected, go up to image, adjustments, and right down to hue and saturation. What we're going to do is get rid of that brightness of those colors, which is the saturation there. We're going to bring it down just a pretty good amount. Bring it down to about minus 80 or so, and you can still see the distinction in the colors on those stripes. You can still see the red and orange and green, and uh, but it's almost a black and white photo. And I'm going to bring the lightness bar up, bring it up to about plus 26 there. Hit OK when you're happy with that. And uh, we have a desaturated baby image. Just for fun, I'm going to increase the contrast so it, it looks a little bit more... Um, almost cinematic uh, uh, in the effect. So I'm going to just take this layer of the baby and make another layer that it looks exactly like it by duplicating it. So just go to the layer, right click on your mouse and go right down to duplicate layer and hit OK. And right up there we have our new layer and uh, for this one I'm going to go ahead and increase the contrast. So go back up to image, adjustments and right down to brightness and contrast. Select it and I'm going to bring that contrast bar up quite a bit. You can see it changes in the photo. I'm not going to bring it up too high, actually. About plus 13, plus 16. OK, plus 16. Hit OK. And uh, this is where I start to play with the blending modes. And uh, right now, these images aren't blending. They're just sitting right on top of each other. So you can't see this one at all. You're just looking at this top layer. I'm going to go up here to this blending mode and it's set to normal. So I want to bring it down. Uh, for this, I'm going to bring it down to, let's see, linear burn. And uh, that's pretty dark. I'm actually going to go ahead and go to uh, just to darken, which is right there. So that's a little bit more subtle. And uh, let's see. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and add some of that texture from that paper. So just like we brought the baby in, we want this tool selected over here, the move tool. Get your, your paper image up or whatever texture you're using and click and drag and release. And uh, it'll think for a second and there it is. And uh, it's a little bit too small for this. So what we need to do is transform it and make it bigger. So I'm going to hit control T and let go. And uh, we have this, this box around it now where we can increase it. Uh, so just go up to the corner and make sure you hit shift while you do this. Just hold down the shift key and uh, drag that corner in. The shift key keeps it um, in proportion so it doesn't, nothing looks squished or out of place. Uh, 
once you have it set where you want it, you go and hit enter or return. And it thinks for a second, and we have it sitting there now the right size. The problem is we don't see the baby. So this is where blending modes really comes in. We're going to play with that texture and put that texture from this paper onto that baby. So go up to the blending mode and make sure that paper layer is selected. And uh, we're going to bring this one to linear burn. So let's bring it down. Uh, you could really play with all those layers and just kind of get a setting that you like. This is one that I picked. And uh, it's, it's a little bit strong, so I'm going to decrease the opacity on that, bring it down to about 80% right up here in the opacity bar. Okay, 80%. And I, I like that. I'm not crazy about all this texture. You can see all these dots and scratches from the paper on the baby. And I'm not super crazy about that. So I'm going to remove, I'm going to mask that out, just the part where the baby is. So with that paper layer selected over here in the layers palette, I'm going to go down to the very bottom of that and select that rectangle that has a circle in it. That's going to add a mask to that layer. And uh, we haven't masked anything out of it yet, but we're about to. We're going to tell it what we don't want, uh, where we don't want that paper to be. So you're going to take a brush tool, and I have a pretty big brush, pretty soft brush. I'm going to bring the opacity up to about almost eight, about 80 percent. And you want to make sure that this is black uh, right here in the foreground. Um, if it's not, if it's the white, you can just hit those arrows and it changes it. So black means we're going to be getting rid of that layer right where we draw. So you can see that paper texture just disappearing right where I'm drawing. And, uh, okay, and I'm pretty happy with that. And you can actually see the colors from that bottom layer just kind of popping through a little bit more. It looks great. So I have that mask and I'm pretty happy with that. Um, so what I want to do though is add a little bit of color. Uh, so I'm going to add a gradient. And what I do is I need a new layer to do that. So I'm going to go down to this top baby layer and select it. And I want to put a new layer right above it, right in between that paper and that baby. So I'm going to go uh, down to this new layer. It's right next to the trash can at the bottom of your layers palette. Click it once, and a new layer appears right in between, right where I wanted it. And uh, I'm going to go over to the gradient tool now, which is this rectangle over here in the tools palette. I'm going to select it. And I have this. Uh, I guess it's like a gold and yellow gradient selected. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and draw it. So I want the gold to uh, appear from this bottom left. I'm just going to click and drag the mouse up to the upper right. And uh, now I have this gradient that appears. And uh, this is clearly not how we want it to look. So we're going to play with the blending mode with this also. Uh, what I'm going to do is change the blending mode on this gradient down to multiply. And uh, that's a little bit better. And I'm going to decrease the opacity down to about 58%, somewhere in there, because uh, it's a little bit bright right now. So 50, 56%. OK. And again, I kind of want to get rid of the gradient on the baby. I, I don't really care for it there. So I'm going to add a mask, just like I did up here. And uh, I could probably, um, well, let's just do it this the way that I did it. Um, select that gradient, add a mask, select a brush over here. It should be the same brush we used last time. And uh, just draw around that baby. Just fill in that whole baby as if I was doing like a coloring book, you know, and I'm coloring in the baby. And it's kind of the opposite. I'm taking away the color from that baby. Okay. So there we go. And uh, it's a little bit better. You know, it's, it's I would tighten it up a little bit so I don't have this white glow around the baby, but um, it's actually kind of a almost a backlit effect, so that kind of works too. And I'm almost done. I'm going to add a vignette, which kind of makes it look antique. It's just darkening the outside corners of this photograph. So I select the very top layer because I want to have the vignette be the topmost layer. So make sure that top paper layer is selected. and select the new layer button, just click it, and we have a new layer at the very top of everything. And uh, I'm going to just select a very dark, uh, I'll stick with the black for this, and uh, the brush tool, and just I'm going to just go ahead, I want to actually, before I do that, I want to decrease the opacity quite a bit, about 43%. And I'm just going to brush in the corners, make a nice vignette. 
I want it really dark at the edges. And this is a little bit strong, so I'm just going to mask it out. Just click, add a mask, and uh, really decrease this quite a bit, this opacity. So when I'm ma I'm going to start getting rid of some of these. Yeah, just really subtly drawing. And you know, just really playing with it. Um, and there we go. And one last thing, I'm going to change the blending mode on this vignette to multiply. And uh, there we go. That's pretty much it. You could, you know, really play with the nuances of this and uh, adjustments for a really long time until you get exactly what you like. And I hope you do that and, uh, you know, hope that you grow and create. And uh, I'll catch you guys later.